fans, welcome to She's in Her Apron. How are you? I'm good. I had a good morning, busy, started early, went to the Walmart to get my groceries and filmed a Walmart haul for you this morning, so that's coming. And so now I'm here at my friend Cherie's house to get my monthly massage and I can't wait. I need it. So yeah, I try to go once a month. It helps me relax and helps me with my stress levels and anxiety. I'm trying to get it to twice a month. So one day, one day. <laughs> my hair's still damp from this morning when I put it up when I was in the shower. Oh. You guys have asked me what this thing is on the back of my phone. It's a popper so I can like lay in bed and hold my phone. It just makes holding your phone a lot easier and you can like have it on the table like this. It props it up. I love it. It's a cool little thing. So you guys have asked me that. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Got my water. Happy wife. Happy life. That's what that says. <laughs> All right, time to go get my massage on. So I just got home and it's 11.20 and I have a roast in the crock pot. It's Jana's roast. So I have a half a cup of water mixed with an Italian seasoning packet buttermilk ranch and brown gravy and that is poured over the chuck roast and this is like the yummiest roast so I should have started it when I left the house today but I forgot so I'm gonna cook it on high for two hours and then put it on low I think that should do it so and that is gonna be dinner tonight with red potatoes and sauteed green beans yum whoa here is the roast it is literally falling apart like melt in your mouth delicious you guys I mashed some potatoes sauteed up some green beans mm. and we're starting to sit down to eat aren't we yeah. mm. delicious I'm gonna go on fast pass so bad and that is dinner tonight mm -hmm. <laughs> good morning friends it is Thursday morning and I am at the salon about to get my hair highlighted or whatever she does I don't even know but I just can't believe how dark my hair is getting as I get older. And I used to be able to go like two times a year to get my hair dyed. No joke. Now I have to go like four times a year. I'm so sad. I mean, I'm glad I'm not seeing gray, but it's hard to blonde this dark hair. So I'm going to go in today and get a trim and get it lightened. And uh, yeah. So, and I'm sad because I didn't realize Shaylee had a field trip. Like, I don't know if they just announced it like this week. I have no idea, but it came quick. And uh, I felt bad because I wanted to chaperone, but I had like all these things scheduled for today. So I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> so anyway, okay, I am going to go and get this done. Come with me as I get foiled and look like an alien. Lots of foil in there. I can probably catch some satellite signals. <laughs> okay guys, two and a half inches later. Check that out. So I was like, clean it up. Because <laughs> I had really dry ends and she said it was the weather going dry, like hot, cold, hot, cold. So um, I got two and a half inches cut off she put more layers in she did a really really good job and the color looks awesome she did it a little differently and i love it oh it feels so good so um i did get for my hair this time the redkin satin wear so i'm going to try that it's in my hair right now it feels good so all right now that this is done it is noon you guys in five minutes it'll be noon and I got here at nine so <laughs> I'm gonna go home and get some stuff done before the kids get out of school so took my morning but it's all good it feels good it feels really good so I won't get this done again till the end of June so 
All right, let's go home and get some stuff done. So I just went to the P.O. box, you guys. I am so excited to read your letters. I just love, love receiving letters from you guys. And I try to answer you back, and I've answered a lot of you guys back. So once a week, I try to get a couple of letters in, but it's hard to catch up on all your letters. But I read them, we love them, and I'm hoping to get back to you all. So it might just take time. Some people have gotten letters months after they have sent me a letter. Um, it's just busy so but I appreciate all the loving from you guys Do you want to hear a funny story about my bed? <laughs> I think this is funny. I got my comforter set at JCPenney. I went to the mall. And then I went online and saw the comforter there as well. And so yesterday I went back online to see if maybe they had any matching curtains or anything. Because we're looking for a curtain. Oh, it's windy. I have the window open and it's rattling my door. Um, and they showed the comforter, the picture of the comforter. And the end looked like this. And with this pretty ruffle and everything. I was like, my comforter doesn't have that. And I thought, oh no, is it like one of those like only web order? I don't know. Because if you notice from the video I showed you, you saw just gray right here. So I showed Derek when he got home. And he was like, bummer. And then he went, wait a minute. And he comes in and he goes, Kim. We have the comforter on wrong. Oh my gosh. So here is what was at the bottom of my bed. And this is how it should be. The tag is on that side of the bed. But for some reason when I put it on, I thought the tag should be on the bottom right corner. I don't know. I have no idea. I finally clicked, you guys. <laughs> I had the comforter on wrong. So this is how it should look. And I like it much better because having just the plain gray right there was completely throwing me off isn't that funny I am such a blonde yep I'm a blonde so yeah so now I like it much much better if you would like this it's still on it's still on sale in jcpenny.com I just saw it yesterday the bookcase that was here is downstairs uh, I gotta go and put the books back on it and we got it situated down there so I need to do that and the since this is a king, the queen comforter that I just bought for my bed, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, Callie took our bed, and so she's keeping the comforter that I bought for it. She loved it. So that's what we're doing. So, the, yeah, crazy. <laughs> oh, I love that. I am so silly, but I love this better now than <laughs> the backwards way. Silly me. A lot of you asked where we got our headboard, our bed, and we got that at John Paris in Salt Lake, and I'll leave the website down below. Oh, and I want to thank you guys because of YouTube, I was able to purchase this bed for my hubby. So thank you, every one of you that have watched and have supported She's in Her Apron, and it means a lot and it, it has brought many blessings to our family as we share with you guys and the opportunities that it has brought and especially for me being a stay-at-home mom um, being able to do YouTube has brought many blessings and so thanks to you you have helped me bring this bed to my hubby for his help so thank you okay I just scrubbed my kitchen table and I am going to make sandwiches for the freezer we're all out 
and I do not like that we're out and we like to hurry and pack lunches in the morning and get out of Dodge. So I am going to make, um, with three, with these three loaves of bread, I'm going to do peanut butter and jelly. And then if I don't know if I'll have time before I go get the kids, I'd like to do the ham. So I am going to hurry since I only have this small window today. My day was taken with my hair. Uh, I'm going to get some sandwiches made and put in the freezer. go get them and take care of business after school a lot of you have been asking me on here and on Instagram and I do Instagram live when my braces are coming off they're coming off the end of May oh my goodness dr. Berg is amazing he's working really hard helping me with my bite um, everything's looking good right now we're just working on the bite on this side and um, I have a wisdom tooth still back there I've had my other ones pulled uh, the bottom one is still there because when I was 12 I had my molar pulled and so it's like taking the place there so he's rotating the wisdom tooth in a way that when I bite I can have more room on this side because I feel like on this side I can like I mainly eat on this side because the pressure is good so he's helping me on this side and it's working and he's a great orthodontist so I'm I'm very happy with the work that he's doing and he said that the end of May they're coming off so yay <laughs> I know I'm sure all of you are excited to see me without bands to see me without braces and believe me I am too <laughs> okay friends thank you so much for joining me today and love and appreciate you all um, get in your aprons today get motivated I hope you can get something done it is the weekend now Woohoo! I hope you all have a very blessed Easter weekend. We're excited to be with family and friends and just celebrate. And um, yes, so happy Easter, everybody. We will see you. Bye.